Sapora has been awarded the transportation and installation contract of the MLS project, the Maraja LLSS project based in, uh, in Brunei. Since 2014, Sapora was working hardly to uh, progress this project, this important project for uh, Total in Brunei. And after 22 months of execution, the project is now completed. What we can be very proud of is the completion of the project uh, after 600,000 man hours without any single lost time in jury. And this is a success of a teamwork between Sapura and the total teams. It is also the implementation of our golden rules, the implementation of our stop card policies, the implementation of all our measures we have put in place in order to uh, step in into any uh, uncontrolled event in order to ensure that the execution will remain safe. And I will finish with the main motto of Total in terms of safety, which is safety for me, safety for you, and safety for all. Today we are in Gongtao for the loadout ceremony for the top side associated with the Maharaja South project. This is an extremely important project for Sapura ACG. It combines many notable firsts, including our first job in Brunei and our first project for Total, who we hope to build a long-lasting relationship. We are approximately now six weeks into the project and we are working well. We have to maintain the impetus and we look forward to a safe execution in line with Total's expectations so we can finish the project sometime in October. Offshore construction scope of work was a rather uh, diverse uh, scope of work. It took us around four months. It comprised a mixture of greenfield, brownfield work scope, as well as heavy lifting, pipe lay, construction activities, diving, and as well a shutdown. I think we can say in the end it was a successful campaign. We achieved all of our objectives, uh, including uh, respecting the shutdown duration required. And at the end of the day, we sent everybody home safely.
top side was weighing about uh, uh, 1600 metric ton the jacket was about 1200 ton they each we had a 16 piles and uh, each uh, pile the heaviest was 105 metric ton with uh, 66 meter of the length I think that the uh, execution of the jacket installation, top sides, pipeline installation has gone very well and very positive uh, results, I believe, for the company uh, and that uh, our uh, client, Total, has been very happy with the execution so far. And I think at the end of the day that uh, it will turn out to have been a very successful project. Uh, that we've overcome the challenges and it's turned out to be uh, very successful for both sides. My role in the project is as installation engineer. I've been involved since the tender stages in Brunei. Then after the TNI portion of the project was awarded to Sakura, I've been working with their team and their offices in KL to prepare for the offshore installation activities. On board the S3000, I have the role of CSR, where I ensure all the technical procedures prepared in the office are applied, liaise directly with Sakura on the day-to-day -day activity progress and planning, and act as a focal point for any communication from Total to Zafira for any issues that may arise in the site. The relationships built during the preparation phase onshore have helped ensure a smooth transition into the offshore activities, with communication being the key, and I'm sure maintaining this good relationship will help ensure a positive outcome for the remainder of the project.
what we're going to do is uh, we've, we've cut the pipeline. We've lifted it up from the seabed with help of all these davits along to the stern. So, and the ship's pushing ahead with about 60 ton bollard pull. We are going to remove the coating on the pipe and then we cut the section of the pipe. And then it sounds a bit technical, but we bevel it. And then we put a clamp on it. And then we add on another piece of pipe with a flange and that gets welded, that gets coated. And then we add on a blind flange, which has got a, a flushing stab on it. So it's about a 36 hour operation. But uh, it's something you don't do every day, and it's uh, it's pretty pretty interesting. We are in the middle of the full field shutdown, which allows project to perform tie-in activities at MLJ1 platform and the existing pipeline. This is a very important and critical activity for the project and for the affiliate. Everybody is doing their best to deliver the work on time and most important, to deliver it safely. In terms of uh, technology, it's not uh, the most uh, critical type of project, but it's a very difficult one in the sense that it's mixing everything you can find uh, on uh, this type of conventional project. So there is a pipe lay, uh, which is a CRA uh, uh, type of uh, pipe lay. There is a heavy lift, so we have installed a, a platform. There is a diving works with tie-ins, spool installation. There is a riser removal and installation uh, works. And there is also a very uh, complex uh, pre-commissioning and decommissioning uh, uh, work scope which make uh, overall this uh, project very uh, challenging. I've been on this project uh, from the beginning and have enjoyed it tremendously. It's involved a wide variety of work. It's involved a wide variety of people. The environment is sensational. It's a beautiful area to work in. It's a great country to work in. It's been a good project. My name's Brian Franklin. I'm a shift supervisor here at the 3000. Uh, I've been with the Sapura group now for uh, three and a half years and uh, it's, it's a good company to work with in the fact that we have uh, many challenges that are set before us. It's, uh, we work together as a team with our engineering department and uh, obviously there's a, a few solutions that need to be sorted out here on the, on the sea, on the job so to speak, but uh, with the collective group um, we normally find our solutions and work our way through it. The ROVs themselves are, are highly specialised, very, very high spec bits of kit. They can do so much under the water that divers can't do at that depth. And for that, they are invaluable on this vessel.